have to play it. Here comes Peter Forsberg. Forsberg working his way towards the net. Nice move and his shot hit a player in front. In that department, if you look at those statistics, they've got 112 goals against, and there's three or four teams that are right around that number. Here's a breakaway for Dig. Dig going in on Snow. He scores. He went to his backhand. One nothing Ottawa. Well, Don, we talked about fear as a motivator. Well, you don't want to get blown out again. And Ottawa has come out with some good snap. A long pass. Watch the acceleration on Dig. This is what makes the difference in his game, and he has to use this as much as possible. Krupp was with him at the red line, and by the time they got to the blue line, all Krupp saw was black sweater and white 91. Snow with really his first real shot of the game. Gets taken right across the crease, and it looks like it's paid off with a quick start for them this afternoon. Levins goes for the net. McIver tried to get him the puck. It was deflected away. Back to the point. Nets cash with a shot. The rebound, and it's flipped wide by Murray. Murray tried to feed it out into the slot. Pitlick here doing a super job on Sackett. This is how you finish your check. Doesn't always have to be this physical, but if you take your man that way, even a guy. Ricci throws it rink wide intended for Young. Beyond his reach, Young gets it again as Beaupre made a bad pass. A wraparound attempt, and Beaupre came right across to smother it. Well, Ottawa has come out with a fair amount of snap in this. Early. Not sure where the puck was, but he took about three or four strides before dropping it to the ice. Kovalenko goes to the corner, trying to move out front. Kamensky gets it back to Kovalenko, a backhand shot, and a pad saved by Beaupre. Caused Bucks to jump out at will. Yashin moving into the slot, now drives it into Hoffman. He fanned in the shot, and here's a two-on-one led by Nolan. He has Forsberg with him, Lefebvre jumping up into the play. They score! Nolan will get the goal, but I think he was trying to make a play, and it simply slid off his stick and fooled Beaupre in the process. Goal number 25 for Owen Nolan. Oh, and things are going right. This is the sort of thing that happens. On the boards, Huffman simply fans on the puck. Now, Nolan gets caught here. He takes too much time and wishes he would have made the play sooner. But when you got 24 goals, and you've had a pile in the last dozen games, Things just seem to keep going right for you. Head up and everything else, but a fan shot, and somehow the puck finds its way under the arm of Beaupre. Ottawa unlucky, Nolan lucky. The results are tied up. For the goal scoring lead with Jeremy Jagger of the Pittsburgh Penguins. You know, if you project it, Sackett comes in. If you project it, Nolan's totals over an 84 game season, he'd have 60 goals this year. Of course, it's only 48 games for this 95 hockey season. Really? <laughs> it's almost like the luck of the Irish. Uh, the card back of the net. Elnick plays it to the point. Pitlick for Elnick. He circles in the corner. Out front for LaRouche. Couldn't get a shot away. Gets it again and scores. He was checked the first time. Got the puck again. And LaRouche gives Ottawa. A 2-1 lead on a power play with just two seconds left in the penalty to Basson. A good tenacity here. Watch LaRouche. He misses it the first time because of a stick check, but regroups in a hurry, goes right to the shelf. Now, Snow is already down. Whether LaRouche realizes it or not, he's in tight and he wants to go to the roof. Well, he does and goes off the crossbar and right in. Just called up. Well, we haven't had much luck in tracking down anybody that can confirm that, but... Here's Yashin with a shot saved by Snow. And now it's Nolan working his way out. Three on two. Nolan coming down the right side. Moves it back for Lesish and a backhand shot and a wraparound try now by Nolan, who had gone back to the net, but it's smothered by Don Beaufray with 7.35 left in the period. 20 points, very kind of you win, but I also picked Pittsburgh to miss the playoffs, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, you win some, lose some. Here's Sackett. He didn't shoot. Fed out front, they score. Owen Nolan. And that's two not classic goals for the leading scorer in the NHL, but the Nordiques are back on even terms. Well, once again, the luck of the Irish on a Sunday afternoon, one day after April Fool's Day. Nolan has not had 
two decent shots on net yet. He finds himself with two goals. It just goes to show you what happens when you get some confidence and when you shoot from anywhere. Nolan's looking the side of the net and he simply whacks the puck. Now guys during puck practice, Don, will regularly put pucks as close to the goal line as they can and see who can put it up top and put it in. Now that one is about a foot off of the goal line. That's not easy to do. Right from the roost, back to the point now for Vial. He couldn't get a shot initially. A weak backhand right to the goal mouth. Snow is down, makes the save, and then the puck is pushed to him by Young and he covers up. Roche got the draw back to the point, but Huffman couldn't handle it. 6.30 remaining in the first period. 2-2 is the score. Here's Elnick trying to go rink wide for Picard. That was broken up by Uwe Krug. Huffman fell. Loose puck picked up by Corbett. The psychic, he scores! Don, in this building, one thing you want to do is keep the crowd out of it. Don't give Le Nordique a reason to get excited. This game has been fairly wide open, and although the Senators have been taking the play, when you've got skill like 19 white, like 11 white, 21 white, all of these guys down the line that can execute as Sackett and, and Corbet do on this play, you're taking a huge risk. And, he listened to the instructions. So he did five times. Here's Kamensky looking for Sackick. Tried to feed it through, but Sackick was tied up by Dahlquist. Here's Picard trying to break free. A backhand shot, and he crashes right into snow and into the net. And there'll be a stoppage in play. Boy, there have been some great chances at point. Hoffman at the point trying to keep it in. He's checked. Here comes Quebec, led by Roland, and he shoots, saved by Beaupre. The rebound, Young with a backhand shot, and McIver may have blocked that one, and then Beaupre sprawls to make another save. <laughs> well, it's, it's perhaps this in the game. Away with McElwain, Bork going deep on Lefebvre, throws it out front. It's knocked away from Pitlick, and back comes Sackett. Racing down the left side, Kaminsky takes the lead pass. Play by Joe Sackick. Well, he made an excellent opportunity turn into a scoring chance going down the ice, but this pass is just a beauty as he lays it completely rink wide. Now you have to give Kaminsky credit for this outstanding move. But Sackick is the guy that gives his linemate this chance. A pass that was 100 feet late to an area. Gives the big Russian his opportunity to jump in all alone. Volpre followed as far across as he could, but left about six inches on the outside. Young steals it in the corner. Back to the point to Lefebvre. He winds up the puck on edge. It bounces high. And Beaupre wasn't sure where it was. And with a group of players, frees it for McElwain. He dumped it to the corner. It's left back of the net for Kovalenko. He can't clear. Cut off by Bial. Centering pass. They score! McElwain took the shot, and it may have bounced in off Phil Bork, who was being tied up at the side of the net. Good eye, Witt. A quick centering pass by Randy Cunningworth. McElwain is just floating into the slot. And Bork. Bork is just out to the side of the net. Take a look here as the shot happens so quickly. And it's going wide. Once again, the advantage of going to the net. This replay will show it perfectly. Bork comes in from the side. Kovalenko has him, but not quite enough. You've got to keep everybody to the outside if at all possible. And Detmar skates to the Ottawa blue line. Feeds it in front for Corbett. The rebound fired wide by Norris. Beaupre came sliding across to make the save. The rebound was fired wide, and there's a penalty. Tried to work his way to the net. Lost control of it. Nolan gets it again. Ottawa back at full strength with Bonk out of the penalty box. Now it's Day coming away with Bonk. The two of them to the line. It's left there for Bonk. Bonk moves in, shoots. The rebound. They score. Good 
Stroll may have got there after Bob took the shot and the big rebound came out to the side of the net. Well, Bach makes a great second effort here on this goal as he's come out of the penalty box. Dig a second effort as well right here at the blue line to keep the puck moving forward. Watch Bach drive to the net after he shoots. He's on his way in and just beats McElwain to the puck. A great effort and a second one at that by Bonk, who some people have questioned without doubt and with good reason as well. Finds his way to the net and scores the second period. Here comes Dave now with Yashin. Yashin puts on the brakes, lost control of it. LeFay moves it ahead to Denmark. Behind his back to Basson. Basson scores! Well, a tough break for Ottawa. They fought their way back in this game a couple of times now this afternoon. But watch Bobby Basson as he moves north and shoots south. This is a great trait to have if you're a player at any level. Basson is fading off to the side. Nobody's quite sure as to whether he might try to go wide or pass it, but he gets the quick shot, perfectly placed, and released in a hurry. Gives Quebec back a one-goal lead. Well, in just under eight period, 149 remaining in the second period. Here's Nolan getting the puck, the save by Beaupre as Nolan grabbed that rolling puck and from the hash marks, let it good. Now it's Picard for Elmick. Back to the point to McIver. McIver's shot high off the glass. The draw. Back of the net for Picard to LaRouche. He leaves it for Picard. Picard for McIver. He scores! McIver came sneaking in from the point. Picard spotted him, and the game is tied. A power play goal for Norm McIver. Well, I've been very impressed with Picard and LaRouche this afternoon. Picard made a great play on Snow trying to open up his legs a little earlier, and that didn't work. But as McIver sneaks in here, Picard sees him all the way. And McIver, who was instrumental in the Oilers' power play a couple of years ago before he came here, does exactly the same thing on this play. Jumps in, reads the seam, and then releases the puck in a heartbeat. Of a clip pass, bounces off a stick. He goes after the puck himself, and then dumps it to the corner with Netscash going back after it. Netscash is hit. Out front for Bass and for Nolan. He's got the hat trick. on strange plays and then he had a couple of great scoring chances where full play stopped him but he causes this goal here by taking the body and then coming back to the front of the net all three members of the line involved the check's happening behind the net watch Nolan come out of the left side of your screen Bobby Basson with a very heads up play patience discipline and composure Kings up in the Western Conference standings Coinciding with uh, Wayne Gretzky. Returning to much better form. Here's a shot by Dahlquist. Puck loose right in the crease. And Dahlquist can't believe that that one didn't go in. And Picard gets it again. Murray. To Picard. Picard at the side of the net is knocked down. And LaRouche tries to get to the puck. And then Finn comes in on top of Picard as Snow covers up the puck. You can see Quebec been getting much more aggressive as this game winds down. Three and a half minutes remaining in the third period. Particularly, so Kovalenko whips it around the boards to the other side for Sakic. Sakic takes a hit in the corner, and then a penalty is called as Nolan comes in against Vial, and the two of them drop their gloves, and they're going to go out. Vial trying to get that right hand free. a couple of laps. Nolan collect, connects on the left. The linesman staying out of it, letting the two fire away at each other. Well, Nolan, Nolan and Vial had a couple of discussions throughout this game. And this is the way the 
conversation ended. League in goal scoring. When you see that kind of reaction from a guy who's known for scoring goals, you say, well, I guess we all got to pick up our socks in different areas. The elf tripped here as he's trying to uh, readjust his shirt, pulling up the uh, shirt sleeves to go to work, so to speak. Had a fair, fair amount of contact there, Whit. And Nolan was very accommodating as Vial went down and adjusted his sleeves. He waited for him. There's a certain, a certain code. <laughs> a minor pen time. Huffman broke his stick on the shooting. He has to go to the bench, and Ottawa may get trapped. No, he gets back just in time. But Forsberg scores! Forsberg with a long shot from just inside the blue line. Now, this guy has got some tremendous skill. Watch how he chokes up on this shot and brings it right inside the post. A perfect camera angle. Perhaps a bit of a screen by Huffman, who had just changed to get a stick. Look at the head up on this guy. Takes a quick look. No screen, shoots close to the pad. Didn't have to take the full net, simply blows it past Don Volpre. And that makes the margin two goals. A minute and 47 seconds remaining. It's on him, next cash picks up the loose puck. 19 seconds remaining. Here comes Dag. Dag ahead for LaRouche. LaRouche fakes, goes in deep, tried to settle it for Yashin. And it was blocked by Snow. It goes to the other hand. It was a little bit loosey-goosey in the first couple of periods. A pile of goals scored. But in the last 10 minutes of the third, I thought particularly their defensemen really buckled things down and played as strong defensively as Crawford wanted them to in the first couple of periods. 7-5, Quebec. Defeats Ottawa this afternoon at La Colisee, led by a three-goal performance from Owen Nolan. 7-5, Quebec over Ottawa.